Good morning guys, as you can see I am at the airport right now and it's about 6.50 in the morning, airport is really crowded, I am leaving for Jordan as you can see and I wanted to take you guys through with me so let's go ahead and the first thing first, we're gonna go and have some breakfast, I am really hungry so let's go and have some breakfast. We all love Duty Free in Dubai. It's massive, it's got so many brands. Of course, I couldn't stop myself but to browse through. And I ended up going to Dior to pick up something that I was really eyeing on for a long time. If you're interested, let me know and I will um, show you guys in my next video. Next up, we went to McDonald's because it was an early morning flight for us. We were tired, we were hungry, so we picked up McDonald's breakfast. Just one of their standard breakfast items, some pancakes, coffee, some McMuffins on the go. And it was time for our boarding and it was a really cute family walking ahead of us uh, just matching sets uh, mom dad uh, the kids and that's our gate B24 and that's us boarding the flight walking towards the plane all excited to jet off to Jordan Just look at how cute is the welcome uh, in Jordan. They are really celebrating the arrival of their family member. Hey guys, so I am finally in my room. Just checked into the hotel. It's really tiring. And we have to wait a bit for the room to be given. Anyway, so I've all checked in. I'll give you a quick tour of my room. So this is the entrance and it's gone. Okay, so as you enter, you're gonna get into this really beautiful washroom. It's got a shower. shower. And shower. you've got washroom. It's me right here. and we've got this really big lovely mirror I think it's perfect for my makeup and then as we walk in we've got this mini kitchen which is just so lovely and you can sit and have your breakfast and then we've got this really king-size bed look at it it's just really really nice I'm just going to go ahead and get some rest get some sleep So after a much needed nap, we came down of our hotel room to stroll down and just look how beautiful the area is. It's called the Boulevard in Amman and it was just so nice, breezy. Uh, there were a lot of restaurants, coffee shops, um, you know, normal uh, other stores to look at. It was just a very chilled uh, place. Uh, we went to Uncle Osaka uh, to grab some uh, coffee, uh, it was really good. I'm here at a restaurant having an early dinner 
and it looks really nice. Let me show you the other. So we ordered some sweet potato fries, their chicken, crispy chicken rant sort of uh, burger, their signature beef burger and the signature sauce which was yum. Good morning everyone, today is day 2 in Amman and I just woke up, we're gonna go down and have our breakfast and then we will head out to explore the city more and I'm gonna take along with you to show you where we went. It's gonna be an exciting day today. We're going to go around and see really beautiful historic sites in Amman and I'm going to take you along with me. But for now, we're gonna go and have some breakfast. Hello, so our first stop is going to be King Abdullah Mosque and we've heard a lot about it, it seems like it's really beautiful and it is open for everybody, for tourists, uh, for non-Muslims, for Muslims, so we're going to go ahead and make our first stop there and then from there we move on to the next one, so let's go. beautiful mosque is called the King Abdullah Mosque. It is located right at the heart of Jordan, um, basically in Amman. And it was built between 1982 and 1989. And at a time, it can uh, cater to 3,000 uh, people for namaz. Our next site was the Amman Citadel, and this is basically a historic site. Uh, it is also an archaeologist site at the uh, center of downtown uh, Amman. And uh, this sort of L-shaped hill is one of the seven hills that uh, actually um, originally made up uh, Amman. And it also has, it actually dates back to the Bronze Age, uh, the iconic Temple of Hercules and the Umayyad Palace. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Hi guys, so today we are going to visit uh, one of the other sites in uh, Jordan and today we are here in Jarash and we will be going through the historic Roman sites and as you can see I'm pretty well dressed for the sightseeing so let's go Side 1, 2 this is for girls. Yeah, and this, this hand is to the teeth. Okay. And this one round. Okay. Round. And put it inside here. Okay. 
هي ايس وان هذا نذر ستايل اومان اند فومان ايس ستايل وومان وومان اوكي يا ايس ستايل يا مور ستايل وومان اند وومان ايس كفر فور فيس ايس جود ان وادرام فور 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 ساند اه اوكي وادرام فور ساند يا Like this, Mushkil, I will not recognize her. Because I don't want oxygen for Sandy. And he's just try for help. Same. Traditional. Style. Put it on that side. This side. Okay. So, Jirash actually is considered one of the largest and the most well preserved sites of uh, Roman architecture in the world which uh, uh, is uh, basically a part or outside of Italy and it's it's based in uh, the northern side of uh, Jordan site is actually known as the oval plaza it's more like how you would basically do uh, or host your like parliament so uh, this was at that point of time uh, was known as uh, oval plaza where they would hold parliament hold parliaments and uh, due to multiple earthquakes and also at the time of roman empire there were wars so these are the remains kinga beautiful long towers uh, is basically known as the arch of hadrian i i hope i'm pronouncing it right uh, this is a well preserved site which is now under un After a long day of exploring the historic sites in Amman, we are on our way back to the hotel and here I am here I am all changed and ready to go for dinner. So we just went down uh, our hotel and we went to this really famous uh, restaurant uh, to have some authentic Jordanian food because I was craving for one. I think it's called Hazura Hazura if I'm pronouncing it right. For starters, we kept it quite simple. We just had our OG hummus and hummus which was really delicious. mains we uh, went ahead and ordered their traditional lamb uzi which was um, really really nice it was very different as compared to what we uh, have here and it had some hot uh, yogurt sauce uh, uh, with it apart from that we ordered a kube or kebe um, it was i actually thought it's uh, the kebe that we have in uh, dubai the typical ones but it was actually leba and no meal is complete without having desserts and for that we ordered some really delicious kunafe
last afternoon in Amman and we decided to stroll around the city a bit more and explore and while we were doing that we came across this beautiful um, rainbow street which was filled with a lot of cafes, coffee shops, uh, stores. It was mainly like an old souk. We stroll around, it's mainly built on hilly so it was a bit of uh, up and down and we explored the old market or the town and then we went ahead and had the most delicious meal in Amman in a restaurant called Jafra. The whole interior of this um, restaurant was very authentic and quite uh, picturesque in my opinion. much awaited uh, food order so we ordered the mixed grill you can never go wrong with mixed grill it has some really yummy lamb chicken and some kebabs and the kibbe that I actually wanted so not the one that I ordered before some uh, potato spicy potato and mixed uh, vegetables Good morning everyone, so this is our last day in Amman and today we'll be moving from Amman to Dead Sea and I will be taking you guys along with me while we go. So let's go. 